To celebrate the recent 6 year anniversary of Jailbreak, I decided today would be a good time to rank my favorite vehicles in the entire game. Keep in mind this is just my personal opinion, you're totally free to disagree, just do so in a respectful manner in the comments. Anyways, let's get started. To kick off the list, we have the Tesla Roadster. Now this vehicle isn't very good looks wise, unfortunately. In my opinion, it is a bit too simplistic. However, this vehicle of course has excellent acceleration. As a criminal, it works as a really good escape vehicle. And it works very well as a cop as it launches very quickly and you can catch criminals that are trying to escape. Now at only 215 miles an hour, the top speed is rather weak. The vehicle is best used in spaces like the city where you need to zoom around tight spaces. But trying to get around farther spaces in the map is not where it's best used. Next we've got the Javelin. This is a fantastic vehicle and a far better counterpart to the Torpedo. I think this vehicle looks great, Ufa did a great job designing it, and of course the stats are fantastic. If you're lucky you can get the vehicle to reach over 300 miles per hour, and the top speed is fantastic at 373 miles per hour. Now I do think the launch is a little bit too slow for my liking for this vehicle. That's what holds this vehicle down a little bit for me. So this isn't a vehicle I really use that much, but I still think this vehicle is fantastic and I respect the stats a lot. Next we have the MCL 36. For a vehicle that costs only 200,000 J bucks, this is probably one of the best valued vehicles in the game. It has really good acceleration and has a great top speed which it can reach rather quickly. Pretty appropriate considering the car it's based on. I like the unique shape of this vehicle, obviously it's a lot longer than typical jailbreak vehicles. And of course it looks great as well. Overall a fantastic vehicle that I was so glad I was able to purchase before it got retired. It's also a bit more unique since you can't trade for it. Then we've got the snake. Now this might be a surprising placement, especially considering the stats are not very highly regarded. But I still think they're really solid and I think overall the vehicle is really good. Looks wise it's fantastic and in my opinion one of the best looking vehicles. I think the handling on this vehicle is really strong and makes up for the lesser top speed. I think it's really easy to maneuver this vehicle around. It's a vehicle that I've really appreciated a lot more over recent weeks. Now it's a vehicle I choose to spawn quite frequently. So yeah I think it's a super enjoyable vehicle. Next we've got the Jet. This vehicle got an insane glow up in October that made it one of my favorite vehicles. Beforehand it was okay but rather difficult to control so I didn't use it much. The controlling system is far better now and the top speed is fantastic. It has a really cool flying style. Also I love the missile system it has, it's so much fun to troll with and unlike other missile systems it's also quite effective in taking down opponents. Unfortunately I do have two main gripes with this vehicle. Number one, it's pretty easy to get stuck inside the volcano base when you're trying to turn in money from the power plant or the museum and I often find myself having to get a new jet entirely. And number two, though this is more of a nitpick, the landing gear does not retract. It's very noticeable and honestly pretty frustrating. I really wish they would retract when the jet engages in flight mode. But putting those aside, I think this vehicle is incredible and I love it a lot. Kicking off the top five, we have the concept car. First off, I really like the look of this vehicle. It looks really nice, very futuristic, and I love the cool trail it has. It makes driving the vehicle a lot of fun. Also, the stats on this vehicle are fantastic. It has great acceleration, and it's easier to reach the top speed with this vehicle. It also seats four people. In my opinion, this is the best spawnable team vehicle. I always use this one if I'm with a group and we need to get around somewhere, but we've lost our main method of travel. Overall, I think it is fantastic. The only bad thing is that my feet stick out of the bottom. Up next, the Bugatti Bolide. I think this vehicle looks awesome, and in my opinion, it's one of the best looking vehicles in the game, as to be expected from Rally Subby. Even though the top speed isn't as insane as vehicles like the Torpedo or the Varen, it's still far easier to reach this vehicle's top speed since it has much better acceleration. This vehicle starts up really quickly and it accelerates really well. Well. Therefore, it's a really effective vehicle to use for both the criminal and the cop team. In my opinion, this is the ideal jailbreak vehicle. It strikes the perfect balance between looking great while also including excellent acceleration and top speed. In third place, we have the Volt Bike. 
I used to absolutely loathe this vehicle since when it was used normally it was pretty much impossible to drive and there was a glitch that made this vehicle super overpowered and practically broke the game. However, after that was dealt with, I think this vehicle improved significantly and now I absolutely love it. The acceleration on this vehicle is amazing. In fact, it has the best acceleration in the entire game. Now, a criticism against this vehicle is that the top speed is on the lower end when compared to other endgame vehicles, but I feel the acceleration significantly makes up for that as if the vehicle crashes, you can easily get back to the top speed, whereas it takes longer to reach a high speed with the other vehicles. Looks wise, I also think it looks really good and I love the iconic trail. However, I do wish you could change the actual body color of the vehicle. You have to put a texture over it if you want to change it and hyperchromes don't work on this vehicle. This vehicle is also very useful since it's hard to stop people using it. Don't get me wrong, it's not OP, which is a good thing. There are ways to stop it. However, the fact that this vehicle is a bit harder to take down when compared to others makes this one a very strong vehicle for me when I'm playing as a criminal. So yeah, overall, I think the Volt Bike is amazing. Our penultimate vehicle is one that's not even in the game anymore, the Blade. And unfortunately here, I'll have to use footage of the far inferior drone since the Blade is no longer with us. When this vehicle was around for two short months in 2020, I loved it so much. Not only did it look fantastic, seamlessly incorporating the aesthetic of the spinners from Blade Runner 2049, but it also had amazing stats. Easily the fastest flying vehicle. It was small and easy to maneuver, and it was overall very fun to drive. I thought this vehicle was awesome, and I really miss it. To this day, we don't know why it was removed, though many people believe it was due to copyright infringement, and if that's the case, then yeah, it had to be gone. But I I still do feel a little bit sad that this vehicle is no longer with us. However, I do feel happy remembering all the fun times I had with it while it was here. Now, I was thinking of putting this vehicle as number one, however, there are a couple flaws it did have. Number one, the hover height limit was annoying at times, though this vehicle didn't have nearly as big of a height limit problem as vehicles like the Crew Capsule and Celsior. Also, it didn't have a rope, which meant that it was impossible to use it to rob the cargo ship. These couple of things, while they are perfectly acceptable limitations for this vehicle, still do hold it back a little bit for me from placing it in the number one spot. But in my opinion, the best jailbreak vehicle of all time is the army heli. I believe that once you buy this vehicle, you've basically beaten jailbreak. The game will have become so much easier for you. Since it's a flying vehicle, it can easily overcome several obstacles that would derail ground vehicles and it's pretty easy to control. It has fantastic stats and for quite a while it was the fastest flying vehicle. Even now it's still great. Of course, it's also the best team vehicle in the entire game, since it can seat 8 people, 9 if you include the rope, and it can fly. Speaking of which, the inclusion of the rope on this vehicle means that it is possible to rob the cargo ship, giving this vehicle advantage points over the blade. Giving this vehicle points over the blade. Now, for a while, I did believe that the look of the vehicle was its weak point, especially compared to other vehicles, so I held it down a little bit on pass rankings, but now that the look has been revamped by the amazing Oof Ed, that complaint is gone. Really my only complaint about the looks is that I wish there was a feature for us to toggle the doors on the side open and close. Besides that though, I think this vehicle gets pretty much everything right. All in all, for the amount of money this vehicle costs, I believe it provides the best value. It is truly the gold standard for jailbreak vehicles in my opinion. So comes in number one. But that's gonna wrap up my discussion of what I believe are the top 10 best jailbreak vehicles. Remember, this was just my opinion. You're totally free to disagree with me. Let me know your favorite vehicles down below in the comments and make sure to explain why you like them so much. If you enjoy, I'd really appreciate if you like and subscribe for more content like this. Anyways, have a great day or night.